Welcome to Change Your Funk to Fun with your host, Mary Mazur. Learn how your body, mind, and spirit operate and learn how to access a sacred, powerful tool called Psych-K to assist you to ignite the wisdom within you to rewrite any limiting beliefs. So please welcome the host of Change Your Funk to Fun, Mary Mazur. Welcome. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We're in episode six today. Today's episode is have courage to follow your heart's desires. So have courage to follow your heart's desires. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to be helping all of you who are listening today uh, to check in with yourself, see how you are in your life, and uh, see how you're doing with the ability for yourself to easily access the courage within you and step into your heart's desires instead of uh, staying in the mind playground. Okay, <laughs> Many of us were conditioned uh, to live from our mind and have that be our primary uh, driving force and primary decision making, um, including myself. I was definitely uh, trained to do that uh, growing up. And a majority of us living in the 20th century also had that happen with us too. (laughs) And we are in the Aquarian age now. Yes, we are. And with the Aquarian age and and the new ways that we are being invited into now is to return to our heart, to let our hearts lead us now instead of just our mind. Hmm. Uh, For most of our lives, many of us um, had been programmed uh, to live uh, pretty much in survival uh, mode or even battling uh, any suffering, pain, harsh experiences, things like that. And then obviously, yeah, if you've had beautiful experiences too, that's super awesome. (laughs) What we are uh, inviting you today to offer for yourself is when you're able to have the courage uh, to, to follow your heart, to step into your heart and let your heart lead you and actually let yourself uh, reprogram yourself, help yourself expand uh, into the true essence of who you really are and what you really are and discovering what that is and who that is, then you will naturally be living from your heart center. And so this is wonderful. Hmm. Yes. And what does that mean? What does that mean to live from your heart center? Huh? Oh, great question. Thank you for asking. <laughs> It does mean you are uh, you uh, do uh, allow yourself uh, to trust to trust more, to allow yourself a little bit more of surrendering and allowing, hmm, a little bit more of the freedom, uh, spontaneity, deep connection, interconnectedness, uh, opening up into your levels of intuition, your connection with your divinity, your spirituality. And that can mean many things. It can mean from the level of awareness, just having more awareness, allowing yourself to step even into a neutrality place where you can actually be an observer of yourself, recognizing your thoughts, your feelings, your experiences, uh, so that you can better direct yourself uh, in making uh, choices that are beneficial for you and others and for you so you can experience more in the flow, more in the love, the joy, the peace, the harmony. Yes. So. In order to allow yourself uh, hmm, to have the courage uh, to follow your heart's desire, um, it it is important to check in uh, to see, okay, so what parts of your life that you don't have courage in? Or it might have been like the past where you really uh, were not even at the level of being able to step into courage. Uh, For some of us, we have been um, playing in the battleship uh, world or the pirate ship world or just the uh, pain and suffering and difficulty and scarcity uh survival uh mechanisms a lot of um, high stress a lot of anxiety a lot of stressors uh, of just getting by or even just being in suffering and um with that even if you are or have been experiencing that or are still dabbling into that quite a bit Ah, the message today for you is the way out of that, the way to help shift yourself into the positive ways of being. And so you may um, elevate your level of consciousness, elevate um, your remembrance of who you are and to uh, wake up again, to recognize that you actually are love and light. You are a spiritual being having a human experience here. And uh, you are an energy being, an energy body with a mind and a heart Uh, a mental, emotional, uh, energetic, spiritual aspect. And that also is physical. Yeah. Yeah. You're actually all of these things. 
Whew. And uh, believe it or not, if you're okay to listen to this idea that, uh, hey, we may have actually hmm, set, set up how our life was going to be before we even got here, or at least chose it, chose it and chose what we wanted to learn, how we wanted to expand and grow and experience here. And we all chose to come at a very volatile time, a massive transformational time. Whew. So that does mean you actually already have the courage within you. Absolutely. Yes, you're designed with it. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> now, this is an invitation for us to let you easily easily access it. Allow yourself to be able to use that gateway for yourself whenever you so choose. Uh, and so if life then can actually help assist you with uh, changing how you even view your life, how you flow through your life by knowing that you always have free will choice. You always have the free choice to choose courage to choose a new way so yes yeah, so what does that mean to say that um to choose to have courage that's a great uh way to view and ask yourself that and to to even check in with yourself well, how am i when i don't have the courage when I, basically i feel stuck limited blocked challenged frustrated angry oh you could feel shameful guilty worry apathy fear pride Oh, even bitterness, jealousy, uh, needy desires. Uh, yeah, any of those <laughs> denser, deeper contractions. And these are just emotions. These are just uh, more focused, denser, contracted ways to view ourselves, view our lives, and view the experiences um, that we choose to have in this third dimension. Because we are in a third dimensional construct here where we have a physical body, where we... Uh, have agreed to believe or forget that we are divine spiritual beings here and that we uh, believe or view ourselves as just just being these humans just being living life getting through with life uh, doing what you have to do do what you were programmed to do from your parents and society and and many of us don't even question it they don't even think about it yeah but then the gift is is life will happen <laughs> oh yes life will definitely assist you <laughs> because it does is actually we are actually uh, being guided by a higher part of ourselves many may call your higher self your spiritual part of you your angelic part of you your divine part of you uh, you actually have a part of yourself that is actually amazing it's infinite it's eternal it's complete love and light it's connected to all oneness uh, divinity consciousness that whatever you would love to name many may name it as God or God source, uh, divinities, things like that. Uh, lots of names, <laughs> lots, and religions have created all kinds of names with that too. Let's just keep it simple and um, hmm. oh, let yourself uh, be willing to open up and consider. Wow, if I could have the courage to step into my heart to let my heart lead, what would that mean? What would that offer me? Oh, that would be a really good question to ask yourself. Yes. And what will happen is because we agreed to develop an ego self within ourselves here, a separate self, an individual unique self, which is actually quite amazing and wonderful here on this planet Earth. <laughs> it's one of the gifts, actually. Ah, yes. Whew. In doing that, um, many fears might come up. And because a lot of us were programmed in fear while we were raised in our younger years. I know I certainly was. Absolutely. And I'll be talking about a beautiful tool called Psych K. Psych K is a beautiful tool that helps you um, rechange these programs, rewrite these software that you received when you were younger. If it was based on fear, scarcity, lack, uh, things are hard. I have to do everything myself. Or there's something wrong with me. Ooh, or I'm not good enough. I have to be this perfectionist. I have to control everything so that everything can be okay. Uh, we were wired with that. A lot of us were, and it's okay. It's what we agreed to do coming in to actually um, help assist us in making the changes. Courage is the gateway. Yes, it actually is. It's the gateway from negative to positive. It's the gateway from feeling limited or um, feeling blocked or feeling um, smaller or not good as. Uh, yeah, actually, when you step into the gateway of courage, you actually open yourself up into a whole another world. And this is what we're inviting you to do here today. And the gift what happens when you step into courage, you actually do access your heart's desires. Yes, you do. It's a natural, um, <laughs> uh, 
it's a natu natural um, way that you actually step into with this gateway. Because hmm. before courage, if you're below the level of courage or vibrating below the level of courage, then uh, yes, you are then just um, pulled into your mind. And the mind is, is an amazing spot. It's an amazing place to be. We are gifted to have an amazing mind here and to be access to actually the mind. There's a mind of oneness, a mind of godness that you actually, um, once you step into courage, you actually get to step into. Hmm. Yes, but below that, you don't. No, you're actually creating your own stuff. You're creating your own thoughts, your own uh, knowingness, the conclusions, the filters that you create. And a lot of the times we did it our first seven years of life and we didn't even realize it when we were just little children, very literal. And even with the gift of our imagination, which is we're going to be talking about that greatly here. That's one of your biggest gifts. Uh, we, as children, if it was really hard, let's say you felt a little bit betrayed or abandoned by one of your parents or uh, someone in your family, or you had a, a trauma that happened, maybe a death or, or even just being spanked. I know I was spanked quite a bit, or at least I watched my brothers and um, yeah, definitely get spanked with my dad that it created a lot of fears in me of, oh my gosh, I better watch out. I, you know, I have to be perfect so that I don't get hurt. So then that whole perfectionist thing um, started running uh, in my nervous system and in my um, uh, outlook on life, things like that. And uh, it may have happened for you too. <laughs> Our parents did the best they could. They did with the information that they had. And um, with Psyche, Psyche is a tool that you can have private sessions with. I am a Psyche facilitator. So we'll talk near the end uh, how you may be able to get help assistance with how I may be able to assist you. And then you can also come to workshops. I'm a certified Psyche instructor. I think there's about 26 of us across the across the world that that uh, do teach this. I teach online workshops and in person. Uh, more than that, it's just that there is a tool. There's a really uh, simple, powerful, effective tool. Dr. Bruce Lipton has been uh, um, uh, one that, that talks probably the most about it and Joe Dispenza and Greg Braden too. <laughs> that um, because it made a massive difference in um, Dr. Bruce Lipton's life. He was a cell biologist that taught uh, really the new way, the new epigenetics above the genes in that we, it's actually our environment. It actually is what's in our subconscious mind that is actually running 95% of everything in our lives. And he, we didn't even know about this stuff. And so I'm so grateful for Dr. Bruce Lipton to be able to teach this and even uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza, uh, even uh, Greg Braden and others. Uh, just, it's really neat uh, to to start just asking questions, discovering, ooh, how are we? How are we uh, made up? How do we live? How do we run here? And then we can begin to operate even, even nicer in more in the flow, more of our true essence. Now, the true essence of you and your love. Yes. So courage is that gateway. Moving into your heart center um, and, um, is actually a huge piece, a huge, huge piece. And if I can, from my heart to yours, <laughs> offer for you, it's what all of us, our hearts are yearning for, is to return back home. Our home is in our heart. And then we are meant to uh, recalibrate ourselves so that we can become heart beings again. We actually were designed on this planet um, long, long time ago. <laughs> oh, to um, the original template of the human um, beautiful template uh, is the divine temple living from our hearts which means we live from our loves we live from how we feel about things how we sense things how we're connected into all interconnectedness uh yeah so that we can always receive all the resources and help that we could ever want or need you actually have access to that it's just we agreed to forget that see how it is with the contrast to actually not have any of that how how does that go and then guess what you're gonna have things in life that are going to wake you up that will say, yeah, I don't like that anymore. No, I'm really sick of that. Oh, heck no. I'm done with that. Something has to change. Perfect. That's exactly <laughs> what helps lift you into stepping into your courage. Yes. Courage is just the gateway where you make a decision to say, I'm going to change that or something has to change. And even a call out that, hey, I need some help. I need some help here to have some changes, to have things really work, to have things uh, work for me now instead of either against me or hurting me or harming me because uh, many of us have lived where we felt victimized. I know I certainly uh, did um, experience that. I, I feel it like it's a, a past life now, which is really awesome. <laughs> I can actually live multiple lives in this time now. But for some of you, you might still be in the thick of it right now. And uh, this is a this is to let you know that there is a way out. There's a way 
for you to shift that, a way for you to change that. And because uh, when you do access the love and the light that you are, when you do have the courage, when you actually make a decision to say, I'm going to step through that courage gateway uh, and then start stepping into your heart, start listening to your intuition, start connecting and opening those channels within you of your knowingness and of your internal guidance system, your whole life is going to begin to change. For me, it, it did help. Um, the, the greatest for me was when I did learn Psyche, and that was um, 13, almost 14 years ago. January will be 14 years. At the time, I was married, and I, um, my husband at the time was diagnosed with uh, leukemia, and that's what led me to learn this tool. And then coming into that, I'll share more when we come back. We are going to take a, a bit of a short break, but I'll let you know that what happens is major things could happen in your life, and it can be one of the greatest gifts that that you can use to help you uh, step into your courage and and change your life and change things in your life so you can live more in the flow. Woohoo! So we will be talking more about that when we come back shortly. Um, we're going to take a short break now. I am Mary Mazer. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We'll be right back. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We're in episode six today. Oh, yes. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Have the courage to follow your heart's desire. That's what this is all about here, right here. <laughs> yes. How about you get to unite, you ignite your courage within you. Yes, yes, yes. And I was just talking about uh, what helped me ignite my courage within me was actually a catastrophe. Actually, a big, huge thing happened in my life. And that may happen for you, too. Sometimes it does take a catastrophe to wake people up. And what I would love to offer and what we want to offer here is that uh, if you are able to um, have tools that can help you greatly, then you get to shift that. Instead of having big major catastrophes happen, uh, you can actually become proactive, which is really nice. Hmm. But yes, if we don't have the tools, if we're in more of a reactive state where we're just getting by or we're just um, struggling to survive and just make it make things happen to be in our minds a lot, uh, well, then life's going to help us and it's going to bring stuff in. So for me, at the time I was married, uh, my husband um, was diagnosed with leukemia and that's what woke me up. And I had a dear friend that was actually on his end stage of his, a part of his life, um, about nine years with leukemia that for him, he was um, transitioning. And with those two pieces, 
woke me up crazy because it started getting me to ask more questions, to have the courage to, to really step in and say, no, I want to find something. I want to find a tool. I want to find something to see, hey, how can we self-heal? There's people that have healed themselves. There's thousands of people, millions of people who have actually healed themselves from major, major diseases and catastrophes. There's a great book called um, Radical Remission. Um, Dr. Um, Kelly Turner that also um, interviewed over a thousand people across the world who had fourth stage cancer and they all healed themselves. What did they do? Well, they did nine factors. And in her book, she talks about these nine factors. So I was really um, set out to go for discover this. And the gift is when I, when I put that out to the universe and said, no, we've got to find another way. Um, I don't want my husband at the time uh, to go in uh, transition yet. If he would love to stay, I would love to help encourage him to, to stay, which he did. He's turning 60 now. His dad died at 50. His sister died at 50 complications of cancer. And so he was 45, five years in, into the running of what he thought was going to be his same gateway. And he just turned 60. So there you go. We can actually change things. And he was able to, you know, help himself um, continue to live and grow and enjoy this world. And you can too. Others can too. We actually have the mechanisms within us. And it is courage. It takes courage. So I went and um, jumped into the courage bucket before he did. Took him about three years until he was ready to. And uh, then he did too which is awesome. I mean, we have to have that self-responsibility. And that's actually what, what I learned is, yes, I did step into the courage. And within a year, uh, Dr. Bruce Lipton's book showed up at my workplace, which is awesome. And so I read his book, Biology of Belief. Wow. Absolutely amazing book. Highly recommend it. If you want to learn the science of how our body uh, functions, um, how our cells function, and then what we can do. Um, at the end of the book, um, Bruce has talked about, he doesn't teach people how to make those changes, but he he learned it for himself by learning about Psyche. And this is what this gift is for you too, of learning about Psyche. Is that, um, yeah, he went and was um, connected with Rob Williams, the originator of Psyche, and he received that um, through spiritual downloads. Uh, when he was um, saying, listen, he had the courage to say, listen, I want something that's long-term that can help his clients at the time. He was a psychotherapist to um, go make long-lasting changes instead of people just going around and around and around with all the in issues they had. Let's have long-lasting changes. How about they, they step into courage too and then go lift themselves back up into their love, back to the healing within themselves, the forgiveness gateway, and to open their hearts again. Yes. Woohoo. There you go. So in that... I, I discovered that I actually had a whole lot of issues that I was even blocked to. I didn't even realize I had. I used denial. My mom taught me that one. <laughs> she was very good at it. And many of you might be doing that too. When you can actually, this is one of the most important pieces, is to actually allow yourself to be brutally honest with yourself, to admit, to slow down, to open up some time for yourself. And that's one thing that, that I did begin to do and started checking in with myself, checking in, you know, how am I doing? You know, what is really going on that is bothering me, frustrating me, limiting me? Because those are actually all here for us. It is. Because what that does is when you can ask those questions and start looking into that and then stepping into your gateway of courage and stepping into your heart, find out what's super meaningful for you. What, what matters to you much? How do you want, how would you rather it be? What would be the opposite? Instead of experiencing those things, what, how would you love to be? Because whenever anything's actually created, there's actually an opposite that's created too in an alternate reality. <laughs> wow. How about that one? So how about you go, you go access that alternate reality and bring in that timeline for yourself? That's actually a pretty cool thing to do. <laughs> so Kate helps you do that. And that's what I learned to do. So I started using it for myself. And that's one of the best gifts you can do is your own self-transformation. And wow, I was really blown away. I was, um, I was amazed. I was so amazed that I um, actually was quite delusional a bit on things. Things I thought for sure was true. What actually wasn't even true. I just made it up in my own mind. Oh, because that's what I was programmed to do is live in my mind. Mm, how about that one? When we live in our minds only and we're not in our heart very much, then we tend to close off our emotions, which I definitely did. And I'm sure many of you have done that too for survival. I was taught if you cry, I'll give you something to cry about, kids. So I sucked it up. I said, nope, I'm not going to be sad. I'm not going to show my emotions. I'm going to be tough. I'm going to be hard. I literally put an armor around my heart and then just operated from my mind. And it served me at the time, and it's, it serves you at the time that you're doing it too. Uh, there is a purpose for it. Um, it definitely teaches us how to survive and, uh, and how to suffer and how to be in pain and how to have things be hard and difficult and challenging and competitive. <laughs> ah, 
and eventually we get to the point where I'm done with this. And there you go. It's for me, it worked out where I was someone that I loved got sick and that then I was sick of that. <laughs> so I'm like, how about we can go be healthy here? What what do we need to do so we can be healthy? Right? Yeah. And I ended up uh, helping myself with the more stress related diseases that I had like psoriasis and eczema and varicose veins and carpal tunnel and TMJ issues like that. And I was able to use the tool of Psyche to help my body reconfigure back into my harmony again, back into my heart again. I stepped into my courage and made the changes. Yes. And then I took the action steps to bring it into my life. And that's the other important piece is uh, when you have courage, when you go through the gateway of courage, then you also are naturally stepping into recognizing that you actually have the power within you. You actually step into your PowerPoint and you do begin to connect with your individual self connecting in with your divine self. That's a huge, huge gateway. It's a an amazing connection. When you connect and realize you are actually a divine being here, having this human experience, and then you get to surrender and allow and let go <sighs> forgive which means you open your heart again having the courage to do those things is such a gift to your own self yes it is and when you gift yourself in that way and let yourself fill up again remember again the love that you are the bliss that you are the vibration of um, gorgeous colors, gorgeous love and light, then you get to uh, share that with the world naturally. And that's the biggest gift. Stepping into courage and uh, naturally opens the doorway to your heart's desires. And then you begin started um, asking yourself questions like I did of how can I serve in a, in a larger way, in a more expansive way, in, in uh, doing what I love and sharing the, my gifts with others. Mm, nice. And that is what I did. I did love helping moms have babies. And I was working night shift where I wasn't sleeping very much, uh, raising a family. So how cool is that when you can take really great care of yourself? And this is what we're offering for you. Ask those, look at those pieces that you just don't like, or you're just done with or completed. And have the courage to let yourself go leap. Have your courage to let yourself, even if it's just beginning baby steps. Yes. Yes, we do say leaping here because it's fun to fly. <laughs> Woohoo! And in order to fly, well, then you'll have to um, go take a step, go jump and go leap. So just beginning that beginning step and let yourself fly. And you'll be amazed how you're held. You'll be amazed what thing, what new doorways are going to open up for you, what synchronicities are going to happen for you. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I have a Dear friend, I just spoke with today and uh, I can feel his heart. It's amazing. His name's Rick and I probably would love to have him on the show one day that um, he is making massive transformations within himself. And uh, he has come and learned Psyche. He came to my divine integration retreat at the highest level of Psyche. We offer a beautiful retreat where you connect in with your divinity within yourself in this human vessel and, and align this part of you. Uh, right. So then you can operate and live in this natural way where courage becomes an easy thing for you that, yes, of course, you're going to step into courage and go make any changes you want to do. And this is what he's doing. He's um, creating a whole new career for himself. He loves vision boards and he loves Psyche. And he's, he's helping to connect with the younger uh, groups of people, the college students uh, in the area he's going to move into. Uh, and the, what I love about him is that he's Ubering right now. So he's just shifting where, hey, he's going to... Um, be an Uber driver and he's meeting so many people and, and, and allowing to share his, his wisdom, his, his knowledge and to inspire people. So what I love about that is that it doesn't matter what we do, uh, just choose something like he just chose that. And that was his courage to do that. And it's opening up massive amounts of doors for him. So he'll be creating some beautiful businesses with his vision boards and with, um, the gifts of Psyche and just sharing his, um, wisdom. And, and he's doing all tremendous amount of transformation within him all his own self because when we do our own work within our own self then we naturally want to go help and assist others isn't that awesome yes it is <laughs> so with courage to uh another offering i have another friend that um he had an interesting thing happen with him uh a beautiful dear friend of mine 
that he drove, um, traveled a long distance to come up to be with a group of us as friends uh, up in the north. And he went really, really far distance and still did it just in less than one day uh, just to be with us, which is so it fills my heart that he <laughs> was willing to do that. It was amazing. And then while he's up there, he went to go get some pizza you know, with another friend to, um, you know, help us with having some food. And then a deer hits his car, whoop, out of nowhere, whammo, bam, his driver's side door, his uh, traveling side door. And, and it even ripped off his handle so he can't even get into his door in, in that natural way. Wow. So when these things happen to us, like catastrophes or surprises, so the thing with the deer is a huge surprise, right? And I'm sure that might have happened for some of you or you have friends or family who have hit deers and their whole sometimes their whole car will be uh, totaled or destroyed. And then and then sometimes those deer um, do um, not make it to. Well, in this this time with my friend, he um, he um, checked on the deer he and his friend checked on the deer and they even pulled the deer over. And then within about a short time, the deer actually got up and ran away. He had sent love to the deer. What's so beautiful to hear about his story when this happened to him is that he, um, he, because he had learned Psyche and he's been able to transform easily within him and step into his courage as he stepped into his courage and looked for all the good, all the good and, and be okay with, yeah, that, that does stink. It sucks that he's going to spend quite a bit of money to, um, fix his car. But yet he, he was so grateful that he was okay. His car was okay. He could still travel and drive with his car and that the deer was okay. So looking for all the good, this is the gift that courage gets to let you do. Can you look for the good instead of the horrible stuff? If you're not encouraged, if you're, if the courage gateway isn't your natural gateway, then you'll, you'll be falling into a pit of just um, fears and anger and frustrations. So we're going to talk more about that, of what you can do for your life so that you can be um, stepping through courage and then um, seeing all the good like my friend uh, did. Um, all right, we're going to take another short break. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We'll be right back. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening, uh, it's like a, a flow inside, you know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Welcome back. I'm Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. Episode six, have the courage to follow your heart's desires. Yes, have the courage to follow your heart's desires. <laughs> Step into that courage. That is the answer. Yes, it is. <laughs> And it's as, it literally as easy as that. It's a decision. It's a decision just to say, you know what? I'm going to have the courage to make some new changes. And uh, this is what this 
mm, episode is help here to help you with. And so you can um, actually have the tools that can help you and you can actually um, step into um, the steps that can easily help you with doing this so that you can live more vibrantly and more in your flow. Yes, yes. So what can you do uh, to do that? This is an um, important piece to, to also um, do. One is um, pay attention to any negative um, talk, any negative self-talking you're doing to yourself or when you're not feeling good. Because that is important. If you aren't feeling good, let's say you don't have the energy or you are getting frustrated, that's a big one, or getting um, annoyed or irritated. Those are like the first pieces. Those are literally like the deer hitting the car. Okay. <laughs> we talked about a deer hitting a car. That actually is a big wake up call to say, okay, this is just to wake you up here uh, to be a little more um, aware, a little more. Um, what would I like to have? What do I want? How do I want things to be? Uh, and, and in doing that, um, asking some key questions. So what would I really love to be? What would be the easiest thing that, uh, that I can do? You know, and what is my heart telling me that um, makes sense to do? A lot of times we do get stuck in our minds and we try and figure out, well, what's the best, what's the best way to do something? Uh, but then we can get things to be hard or difficult or challenging or competitive or just stuck. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to offer this for you here. If that happens for you, all right, we're going to take three slow, deep breaths together. Deep breath in. Hold it gently at the top of your breath for a few seconds and then release fully through your mouth. Oh, even into a nice sigh and then take two more breaths. Deep breath in, hold it gently and release. And another breath in, deep breath in, hold gently and release. So when you feel frustrated, irritated, uh, challenge. Okay. Check it, catch it. Like, wow, I'm frustrated right now. Admit it. That's one of the biggest things you can do. Admit it. Wow. I am really frustrated. And when, if you would so love to do, you can step into your heart and just say, all right, I'm going to have the courage to step into my heart. Literally just say that. Just let yourself say, you know what? I'm going to have the courage to step into my heart and see what my heart, how my heart feels about this. Mm, that's a good thing. Now you're going to start checking in with how you're feeling. Wow, we are feeling beings. We're sensual beings. We're meant to feel. Yes, we are. In our bodies, we're meant to be in our bodies. And a few other episodes ago, we talked about that. How it is important to feel safe and secure so you can be in your body. Psyche is a tool to help you with that. Um, super huge. And to know that you uh, are deeply loved and that you're that there's abundance here. All of these pieces. But yeah, let's just say you're irritated, frustrated, or just a little bit, mm, I don't know about this decision I'm making. I'm kind of like, ooh, I want to do this, but I want to do that. Okay, that's all right. That's good. Guess what? Step into your gateway of courage and then just say, hmm, what would my heart say? What's most meaningful for me? <sighs> what brings me joy? What would I like to have happen? These are just simple powerful questions that you can move yourself to receive the wisdom and answers within you. Yes. With Psyche, you help shift any blocks or any fears or anything that's blocking you from accessing this easy gateway within you. I've done that um, many, many times with myself. So now I can step into my heart easily. I can listen to my spirit, my, me as a spiritual being, uh, to, yeah, what is my heart's desire? And then if I even have any fears or what will I lose if I um, do that instead of this, um, okay, check into that. And, and then with Psyche, we transform that perception of that fear into our peace and non-attachment. And then uh, I'll connect in and be like, okay, so what do I really want? Or what, 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 what brings my heart the most joy? Ah, and then let your imagination start to come in. Your gift of your imagination is super huge. Let yourself play. Just the what if positive. The, woo, the power of imagination. I know for myself, and I offer this for you, is I like to easily close my eyes because when I can close my eyes, my vision uh, gateway opens up. And then uh, there's beautiful things we can do to help with um, opening up our third eye and uh, our, our internal vision and our internal mm, feeling and seeing and hearing things. <laughs> and there's many things you can do to help yourself with that too. But yeah, let yourself just imagine. So let's say you were irritated with something or just challenged with something, even just a challenge, you know. All right. Hmm. Let yourself have the courage, step into the courage gateway within you and then leap up into your heart center and just imagine your heart 
um, is is a, a gateway within you that is complete unconditional love and acceptance. For some people, they even have a hard time with that. And they have um, been hurt so much or have lost their trust in their own internal guidance system. Um, Psyche is a super huge tool to help you with that. It totally rewrote all that for me within me. So I do completely trust my internal guidance system. Uh, and I know it's always here for my good. Everything is here for our good. I know everything is here for us to help us. Hmm. So even just imagining right now that you can trust your heart, that it is you, it's your heart, it's your heart. And there may be gateways uh, to go through about forgiveness within yourself and trusting yourself again. Um, that is actually a beautiful thing to be able to do. But let's just imagine now that you, do, you have forgiven yourself. You do trust yourself. Just imagine it. This is the gift of the gateway of the doorway of imagination. Just imagine it because you can. You're actually stepping into a whole nother reality when you step into the power of imagination. And you can literally link that reality within you. Yes, you can. Mm. Oh, so let's say something's irritating you right now. Maybe, um, hey, it's Thanksgiving in America. So maybe just um, there's some people maybe you'll be interacting with uh, during Thanksgiving that, that might that might uh, trigger some things within you. You might get triggered when you're around them. Yeah, there usually is one or two. <laughs> the gift is, is if you have the courage to step into your heart gateway, you can actually access the wisdom within you and you can actually um, find what is most meaningful for you, what brings you the most joy. So you can enter into your peace, your centeredness within you Ah, oh, and anchor and root down and allow yourself to be the love that you really truly are. It's one step at a time. And so I know um, we're throwing a lot at you here. Gently go into your heart, open up the courage gateway. Mm, allow yourself mm. to, to connect into your heart's desires. And that just means your love desires, your joy desires, those that where you feel good, where you feel safe, secure, loved, and abundant. And ask yourself, okay, so let's just say there's a family member or maybe someone that you maybe, mm, they might throw lobs where they're going to try and blame or try and, you know, why are you being this way or trying to change you or try and control you in some way. Okay. Just imagine that. And you can even, before you head into Thanksgiving, just imagine this right now. And then just say, all right, I'm going to have the courage uh, to choose a new way of how I'm going to respond, a new way of how I'm going to be in this situation. Okay. So step into your heart. Your courage gateway whoop, opens the doorway to your heart. Step into your heart. And then just ask yourself, okay, so what will bring me the most joy, uh, the most um resonance of that everything is okay and that I am okay, that I am actually divine and good and I can hold the, the space of love that I am. Mm, wow. So maybe what it can be is that you can, if somebody is getting, let's say, angry or upset, you know, or frustrated, that um, you can allow your own energy field to stay strong and whole while they are in their own density. That just happened to me recently. I just went over to um, where um, the home that I used to live in. And uh, yes, a gentleman there was doing that that I had a close relationship with. <laughs> and that's okay because he is still dealing with the stuff he does. Every Everyone else in this world is dealing with all of their stuff because they get to and they get to experience in their own unique way. And so do you, you have a right to uh, stand in the power of your love, to stand in vibrate in the love of who you are. Gateway is the courage. And when you have the gateway to follow your heart's desires, connect in just simply of how do you want to be? And just for me, I love to feel connected, loved and have fun. <laughs> Those are my three favorite words. <laughs> Maybe for someone, it may just be, Hey, I feel safe. Um, I feel accepted and loved. I am accepted and loved. Maybe even just that. So if somebody is, let's say, complaining or um, being a little nasty or just rah, 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 being grumpy, whatever, saying harsh things, something like that, you at that moment can breathe, connect into your heart, step into the courage of your gateway and choose the love of who you are. And you can begin to imagine just vibrating vibrate in your love and just hold yourself there. Just be silent.
be still and just be curious and observe. Observe how you're feeling. Observe what you're thinking. Observe how you are. And you can observe, obviously, how they're doing it, too. And in a short time, your little humor will kick in. That's what happens to me a lot, which is really awesome. I'll begin to giggle inside myself. I'll be like, oh, isn't that interesting? He's getting really testy right now. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Because I, when, when you get to the level where you feel safe and secure and so loved, so infinitely loved all the time, where I'm just the pouring in of love is like a waterfall. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah. All because I stepped into my gateway of my heart's desires. That's it. That is everything. It's everything. And this is what we're offering for you. Whew. You can cultivate this as a practice for yourself. Begin doing this with your own self in the morning, which is beautiful when you wake up in the morning. Um, have a nice little cushion to sit down. Have, for me, I love to have a nice cup of my mushroom coffee. Uh, you might do a tea or something warm, something delicious. And uh, allow yourself to just sit and get comfortable and connect. We are meant to connect within our own hearts. And this is what we're offering for you. We are meant to test, test and see how our courage is doing. How are we living from our heart's desires? That's what all of this invitation is for you. Because when you do, you'll begin to live in the flow and easily vibrate into the love and light that you are. Yes, because you are. You are divinity here experiencing and you're at the most profound time right now in the Aquarian age to ignite this and this is what we're inviting for you to be doing so thank you for listening today <laughs> you actually can do it and you'll be amazed how easy and simple it is and we also will talk we're going to take a short break now when we come back we'll talk about how psyche can actually greatly assist you so you can easily do this I am Mary Mazur you are on the Bold Brave TV network this is change your funk to fun we'll be right back did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Hmm. Welcome back. I'm Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun, Episode 6. <laughs> yes, have the courage to follow your heart's desire. Yes, it is time. It is time. <laughs> if you're listening to this talk, that means you are ready. Otherwise, you would be listening to somebody else. <laughs> So that is like everything. Yes. And actually I can feel anyone listening to right now and, and anyone who does in the, in the, in the next moment that you do. Yes. You got this. You got this. Yes. And it is simple as this. Make a decision, make a decision to have the courage to follow your heart's desires and just say, okay, I'm going to start following my heart's desires, which means I'm going to start being in my body more. I'm going to start paying attention to how I'm feeling, paying attention to what I'm thinking 
and to what I really want instead of just surviving, instead of just doing what I have to do. How about, all right, I'm going to check in with myself. Hmm, what would I love to be doing today, this month, this year, and in my life? Wow. Let yourself have some time to um, sit down, write it down, write it down, speak it, start sharing it with your friends. Start letting this be juicy for you. Say yes, yes, yes. Mm. Instead of courage being a scary thing, how about courage is actually a fun thing? It's actually, oh, wow, the power of imagination. You can say, oh, it's exciting. This is wonder. Let courage be your wonder gateway. Yes, yes, yes. Dress it up now. Let it be like a gorgeous uh, orange color because that steps right into your sacral area where this is the power of your creation. You are the creator of your life. Yes. And you do it within yourself. And you do it within your heart. And let your mind be a beautiful assistant. Just like these AI assistants that are happening now with technology. Your mind is pretty much like your own AI system. <laughs> let it help you. It can help make your life easier. But please don't let it uh, drive you. Like uh, be done with like having it uh, run your life. Because um, if you are ready to have a, an amazing fun, exciting, adventurous life, like I'm definitely having. <laughs> Woohoo! Then your heart is your gateway. Mm, and then courage is just the, the beautiful stepping stone. When to, once you step into courage and you leap up into willingness and your willingness helps you surrender and allow and leap up into acceptance. And when you're in acceptance, Ooh, and you can just accept what is. Okay, so that is like my friend that got hit by a deer, you know, on his car. He is, he accepted it. It's so beautiful. And he's making beautiful changes to his car. So then he realized, hey, he's going to upgrade his car and then go get an even nicer car. <laughs> you can turn anything into good. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And we can begin to thank whatever's happening in our lives. Appreciate it. Alchematize it. Allow your love and light to um, integrate into it and then leap and then bring it into your heart. And when you do, you'll be amazed how your life is going to begin to change. Yes, yes, yes. So to be able to do all these things in such a simple, powerful and effective way, you may want to follow what I'm doing. And that's what I did is I <laughs> learned Psych K. <laughs> yes, you can. So come to my website, igniteandhealyourlife.com. Igniteandhealyourlife.com. One more time, igniteandhealyourlife.com. Yes, I am teaching workshops January 12th through the 14th. I'll be teaching an online workshop so you can learn this right from your home. How easy is that? We're going to bring it right to you through your computer, <laughs> through your laptop. And it's at a very reasonable price, which I'm, I'm quite amazed about that. But this is investing in yourself. So give yourself a Christmas gift. And uh, come to my, my online workshop. You will be forever changed. I just had a gentleman who uh, called me today. He's a business owner in Canada. And he wants me to have uh, his own online workshop with his employees and his people that work for him. I'm like, heck yeah. So we're going to do that in December just on his own. Yes. He has been transforming so mightily with the tool of Psyche because it helps him leap into courage easily and helps him leap into his heart desires easily and then helps him make the changes he's ready for and actually bring them in his life. Yes, that's exactly what it helps you do within minutes of making changes. Things you might have been dealing with your whole life. Yeah, it really does work that fast when you are ready and then when you're ready to surrender and you're ready to make the most powerful changes that you would love to do because it's time, because it is. <laughs> so there you go. And if you want to come to the in-person workshops, when you when you come to the in-person, you not only help yourself, you actually can help others. And uh, with that one, and if you do the online, you can do level two to help others, or you can come into the in-person and in-person help people, and then move to the, all the gateways of Psyche. I'll be teaching in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So come on down the end of January, January 26th, the 28th, where you get to have warmth. It's by the ocean on Fort Lauderdale. And come learn a tool that helps you transform your life by easily stepping into your courage and your heart center. Yes, yes, yes. And if you want to stay in the north, then uh, February, February 16th, I'm teaching in Michigan, Grand Rapids. Beautiful, gorgeous area. It's majestic there. So that in February 16th weekend, I will be teaching in person uh, in Grand Rapids. And then if you want to wait till the springtime, the March 1st weekend, I'll be in Louisville, Kentucky with my dear friend that hit the bear hit his car. <laughs> That's where he is there. And I'll be offering it there. Yeah, and if you want to come into the mountains 
uh, in Tennessee, the third week of March. I'll be in the gorgeous Knoxville, Tennessee mountains. I am um, offering this all over the Midwest and down into the South and to reach many because it's time. This call out is for you. If you have the courage to uh, start making positive, beautiful changes for yourself, uh, you're being received this beautiful gift of Psyche. And really, it's just the gift of you act you activating your personal power within you to um, to change things in your life so you can have an amazing, fantastic life because you deserve it. Yes, you do. You are here to live. You're here to fully live, fully experience, fully love. And I know for me, that's why I'm here is to help people ignite that within themselves. Um, I know for now I'm teaching Psyche and offering it. And if you want to just have a private session with me, come to my website, igniteandhealyourlife.com for a private session because you can begin, already start working with yourself or I can help assist you with that until you're ready to come learn this for yourself. You can tell I'm excited about this. I am I'll lit up. I'm lit up about what 2024 is going to be bringing. We are coming into the most magnificent year. Let yourself have the best tool ever to help you with that. And uh, this is what I am offering for you. And uh, I offer my love, my light, uh, my guidance. And that, that's why I'm here. I, I send all my love <laughs> to all of you. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. This has been Change Your Funk to Fun with host Mary Mazur. Tune in each week and ignite the courage within you to take meaningful changes in your life and allow the fun, joy, and love in your life to awaken. Wednesdays, 3 p.m. here on the Bold Brave TV Network.